So, you just found out you're pregnant and you're having all of the feels? Let's talk. So, the transition through perinatal and the transition to parenthood is one that is not as often talked about as it probably needs to be, okay? Nine out of 13 women who uh, experience pregnancy have some level of depression, while 13 to 15% of women who experience pregnancy have some level of anxiety. Um, and though those numbers seem small, um, it is a big deal if you are a part of that percentage group who is experiencing either depression or anxiety while uh, being pregnant. Pregnancy already has its own set of emotional uh, things that happen when you are going through your hormones and your experiences. But to add those levels in there, that's really, really, uh, it can create a very stressful time. I'll talk about another video. Um, I have what they call in the um, baby world, a rainbow baby. And um, I went through my own series of emotions and still sometimes go through my own series of emotions dealing with um, having a rainbow baby and what that looks like. Again, we'll talk about that in another video. But one in eight married women struggle to conceive. And so there is a lot that we are not talking about in the world of emotional health and wellness and um, pregnancy and, and, and perinatal experiences for women. Um, and so if these women, if you are one of those women and you're not sharing it with your family, um, the things that you experience, sometimes you hold those things in and, and studies have been shown that what we hold in can impact our children, our um, unborn children in our, in our womb, because essentially they feel what we feel, even if there are cases of domestic violence and abuse, our children feel what we feel. And so it's important to cultivate the environment that they are in when they are inside of our womb, okay? Um, because that's just super important. I'll link below a article to, um, uh, the. it's called The Relationship Between Stress and Infertility and How Stress Plays a Role in a Woman's Ability to Conceive. Um, it's a huge, it's a huge, huge connection. And so if you are interested in that, I'll link that down below. Um, and if you'd like to chat with me and share your stories of um, your rainbow babies or your um, birth experiences, I would love to hear those things. If you want me to share mine, I would love to share that with you. I had an awesome, awesome, awesome experience um, after I got over the hurdle of my mind um, because initially I was terrified. I was sad. I was feeling anxious and frustrated and all of the things wasn't, didn't feel like I was where I wanted to be in life, um, in having a baby. And that led to very many unhappy days, um, which led to poor health. Um, I was in the hospital a ton. Um, and so if that is you and you are one of those women who experience who are presently experiencing an emotional experience and side note when you have these experiences sometimes you go on youtube and you see people who are like oh my gosh i love being pregnant such a wonderful experience and oh my gosh my hair is growing my nails are growing. all these things are happening when i used to go on those things i used to just kind of envy those women because i was like that is not that ain't happening over here like i am sad and I'm not sure if I'll be a good mom and I'm not always drinking enough water. And I had so many things, so many things. And so if you are that woman who pregnancy right now is not the most exciting thing, know that that is a normal experience. That's okay to not feel okay and, and be having a life kind of cooking on the inside of you. Not all women feel 100% and perky and want to go out and jog and run and prepare all these meal prepping plans. I mean, shout out to those ladies who do, but that's not everybody's experience. And so 
I kind of want to normalize this for you. And if you are in this space where you are feeling a bit of anxiety or depression, when you are carrying your child or even the transition to parenthood, it may be good to talk to someone. Come in and see a therapist. We can help you navigate through what your expectations are of parenting, maybe what you saw your parents do when you were a child, maybe some of the things you want to avoid um, with your children and um, maybe lost hopes and dreams also um, when transitioning to parenthood. Maybe you're a single parent and you're saying, how the heck am I going to do this? Maybe you should come in and talk to somebody. We're here for you, we love you. Um, and yeah, that's all I want to say. Come check out my other video about rainbow babies. You can meet my little rainbow baby in that video. Come check it out. Talk to you later. Okay, let's go to church. And so one in 8% of, one out of every, I'm sorry. So the transition to the, from the peri, Okay, I'm ready.